My name is Nikta and I presented back in March 2008 and that work really laid the foundation for my work now that I'm doing during my PhD and ever since 08 I've been a adjudicator with Merck. I think a good analogy is that we're all researchers and we're all <laughs> sitting in our canoes. Imagine us in a lake, you know, a body of water hitting, going to a river or something like that. And we're all researching different things, right? We're not all there for the same reason. Some people are researching better fishing methods or some people are looking at how a canoe is made or other people are looking at what animals are in the water. We might be in single canoes, double canoes, you know, we're all just separate. And what Merck does is a couple of really fantastic things. Merck is able to bring these people who are all studying different things together. So now imagine, you know, we're all <laughs> paddling back and I don't know if you remember, but you had to learn how to paddle and then hold on to the canoe next to you and you'd all form a circle so that the meeting that was going to happen could then happen. <laughs> Whatever that instruction was that your teacher was going to give you. So. Merck is sort of that, that meeting, it's that voice, that call that says, hey, you all need to come together now. Some people may have been moving really quickly, some may have been moving really slowly, but either way we're all here now and we're able to learn what everyone else has been doing. We're all sort of adding to the lake or the river. You never get that in grad school because things get so specialized, you're only in your small cohort, even conferences you go to, it's super specialized. The other great thing, of course, is that you're able to meet people who are in different stages, people who are further ahead than you in research, people who've just started, people who don't even know if they want to go into research. And the third thing is that the circle that's happening in the water, it's not like in this far distant, you know, place really far away from the shore. It's really close to the shoreline. So people who aren't even in the lake, people who are just like standing on the shoreline can be part of the conversation and they can be learning about what everyone's doing who's in that water. That circle feeling of everyone just like forming the circle, it's a, to me it's a really great feeling to be able to do that, to all just like hold on to each other's canoes <laughs> and share those stories.